Well, here we are back with the old uh, Walco WM180 lathe. And today we're going to talk about one of the few things on the lathe that I don't actually like. And that is these things. Now these are uh, all over it. These are the little handles which are fitted to the originally the uh, tool post, the tailstock quill lock, the cross slide wheel, the carriage wheel and the tailstock wheel. Now, um, in a previous video, um, I uh, mentioned that, that I've replaced the, these, these handles with ones I've made out of brass and also this one here carriage handle um, which um, aid on aids workshop he did a great channel uh, video showing you how to how to machine these up so but today what we're going to concentrate on is um, the tool post handle the tailstock quill lock handle and the handle which engages the power feed on the carriage now as you can see I've already modified these two done done them done those um and uh, we'll uh, well just move in a little bit on the, on that so you can see those um a little bit clearly yeah now it, the replacement handles are very simple uh, they're basically made out of a uh, piece of 12 mil mild steel bar and uh, the end is a 32 mil uh, plastic resin uh, ball with it, which it has it comes uh, pre-drilled with and tapped six six mil. Uh, you can get these on eBay, and I'll I'll put a link to 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 those in in in, in the description. Um, but the other the other problem with these the, these handles that these original ones I I mean I have no idea what they're there's some sort of Chineseium I think they're made out of and and they just bend the the the, this, the piece at the end which is threaded it just it just bends and also that originally um where the handle um screws into the 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 turret here on, on on these um obviously on this this part here let's uh move the camera over a little bit right you can see this a little bit better. right now where that the where the original handle uh screwed in um, they hadn't even bothered to file a flat where the thread, threaded hole is so the original handle screwed in onto a curved surface which again is awful really so there's a two-part process in, re in, re in replacing these um, basically making the new handle which is very very simple um, and taking off the original mount and filing a flat so that where where the shoulder of the handle actually screws in it it's coming up against a flat rather than a curved surface um, and uh, as you can see I've already done the tool post uh, handle and obviously the uh, tailstock quill lock but we still have left to do one remaining which I'm going to do today and that is this little matey here which is the carriage power feed lever uh, so there are differences slightly in, in some of these. Um, the uh, tool post and tailstock quill lock. These these simply are just nuts, and they just unscrew, so they're fairly easy. Uh, this is actually held in place with a I think it's an Allen key uh, set screw which we've got to take out to take that off but um, the handle will do ex is exactly the same as as, as the as these other ones so um yeah so i'll show you exactly what i've done um these balls uh are excellent now they're not exactly cheap these are about four pounds each these which you might think is a lot of money for a plastic ball but i've dropped these on from a fairly uh reasonable height onto a ceramic solid ceramic fort and they don't even mark let alone chip or crack so these are obviously very strong um, and um, now you could um, 
you could fit them onto the handles with Loctite, but I just screwed them on um, and so far they haven't come loose. Um, I also, as you can see, I also added one. This is the tailstock lock lever. And I simply uh, drilled and tapped a six mil uh, hole in the, in the top of the handle here and used a bit of six mil studding to um, put a ball on the end. And it just makes it easier to use. It's just a lot, a hell of a lot nicer to use. And it's such a simple mod to do, you know. Um, and the, the 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 one that really that really benefits from this is is the tool post one because obviously you're using that all the time, and 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 trying to do it with with, with this, I mean it's just it's just a not. And as I said, they bend the, 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 because it's not being screwed into onto down onto a flat. It's being screwed down onto a curve. It bends, but but that a lot easier to use, but a hell of a lot easier. Very, very simple to make, and it makes life that much, much, much easier. So, uh, right, let's get started. Okay, well, we've got the uh, little bit of 12 mil bar in the chuck. Um, obviously, you, know, you, you need to face off the end, but there are, this has already been done here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the original uh, handle here and uh, put it on the end of the bar like that, and then just use a pen to mark how much I need to turn down magic marker or sharpie or something like that that gives me a rough idea of how how much along the bar I need to machine down which we're going to turn it down to roughly uh, six mil um, and um, then we'll cut the thread so I'm going to move the camera around to the end so that you've got a bit better view really okay here we go then Obviously, you need to check this fairly regularly as you get to, as you get near to uh, what you want. But we're we're still quite a long way off yet, so. Again, well, not far now, getting there. Perfect. Right, so now we've got it turned down to six mil. Time to cut the thread. Now there are a lot of videos out there which um, show you how to make some very nice, very fancy tailstock die holders. And if you're going to be turning a lot of threads on the lathe, then a tailstock die holder is a good idea. But you don't need one to turn thread. Uh, in fact, you can do it using a standard uh, standard die holder like this. Uh, and, and that's really all you need. You don't, don't need anything else. And this is how you do it. <clears throat> Very simple. 
place to work in the chuck, line the die holder and die up with the work, slide tail stock. I've got the Jacobs chuck in the tail stock and I've got the jaws fully wound open, right? So they're right back into the chuck, the Jacobs chuck. Slide the tail stock up, that will hold the die holder square to the work, lock the tail stock in place. And then all you do is um, you need something to stop the die holder from turning. So it's gonna come up against the, uh, the bed of the cross slide here. So <clears throat> that's quite useful. Um, or you can use a tool post, but I'm, I've wound the tool post out of the way so you can see what's going on. And then basically you apply small pressure with, with the tail stock uh, wheel and um, turn the chuck. And you should get a very nice thread. You'll feel it cutting. Oh. Once you've st got it started, then it's always a good idea to reverse the process and that will break off any chips that the, uh, that the die has created whilst it's started its thread. Wind that back up again, keep it square. And away you go. And we just keep going. And this shouldn't take too long because obviously it's a very short thread on this. I'll we'll wind it back again. Clean our chips off. Oh, let's miss the come off the end of the uh, cross slide bed. Okay, right, well, we're about, we're about up to the, uh, as far as we can go up to the shoulder of the of the 12 mil bar, so we'll we'll undo it. Let you take the. Uh... And hopefully, we should have a very nice thread. Move the uh, tool post back this way a little bit, otherwise I'm going to gorge myself on the. Uh, So, let's just have a quick look in, closer look at that. Oops, there we go. Yeah, I think you can see that that's, uh, that's come out quite nicely. Um, what I am gonna do is the, um, these dies have a, um, can you see this? Ooh. Let's pull it back out again. Yeah, um, th these these dies they have a um, quite a long leading on them, so it means that they won't cut right up to the shoulder on the bar. So I'm going to um, take the die out, reverse it, and then run it back up, so it'll cut the thread pretty close to this finish the thread off pretty close to the shoulder um, and that's it that's the thread on, on on the end that goes into the turret done